Hi friends, welcome back to Welter QC, the YouTube channel of Lloyd's Institute of Technologies. My name is Vincent. The welding symbol interpretation itself is a huge area of learning. I will be trying to make you understand each and every important welding symbols and supplementary symbols along with, with its applications how it, it should be used on the job, actual job. Okay, so let us start. Okay friends, let's move on. Let us see how the various weld symbols and welding symbols can be placed. Okay, what are the methods of placing a weld symbol? First of all, the fillet weld symbol, bevel groove weld, flyer bevel groove weld, J groove weld, corner flange. All these five weld symbols will have a perpendicular leg, that is this, always to the left. Okay, fillet, bevel groove. J groove, flare bevel groove, corner flange. These well symbols shall be drawn with the perpendicular leg always to the left side. Okay, please note that. This will never be on this side. That is wrong. Always this will be, this perpendicular leg will be on left hand side for these five well symbols. Okay. Now, the effect of break in an arrow. Okay, the well symbols will have an arrow always. But suppose if you are given a break like this, then you have to understand where the arrow is pointed. That is on this piece now, in this case, in this part of the joint you will have to make the edge preparation. This is a bevel groove weld on the arrow side. Okay. And the break is shown. The arrow is directed to this piece. This part of the joint. That is on this one. And you have to do the edge preparation on this piece. Like what we have done here. And you have to weld it from the arrow side, from this side. Okay, similarly here. Here it is on the other way around. The break in arrow is, the arrow is directed to this piece. Okay, so you have to do the edge preparation on this piece only. Again, this is a bevel groove weld on both sides double bevel groove weld so you have to do the double preparation on both here and here so how you will understand this see the direction of the broken arrow it is directing this right from here it is directing to this piece so on this piece you have to do the edge preparation okay Again, the application is shown in a different trend. Okay, here the, here the broken a arrow is directed to this piece. So, you have to do the preparation of the J groove on this side. See, on this piece only. Okay, understood? Let us move on. Now, you can have a combined weld symbols also. On a single joint, you can have two or three different type of well symbols. For joints requiring more than one well type, the relevant well symbol shall be used to specify each well. Like in this case, you can see three different types of well symbols added on other side and arrow side. So, 
here on the arrow side this is a bevel groove weld that means you will be doing this this bevel groove weld here this one and and on top of that that means on the arrow side after bevel groove there is a fillet weld this is a fillet weld that means after this bevel groove you have to do the this fillet weld you know this is a fillet weld on top of the bevel groove weld and finally on the other side of the arrow that means here a fillet weld symbol is given so here you have to do a fillet weld so on a single reference line you you are having three different weld symbols and that is what we have explained here uh, the kind of interpretation of the weld symbols are explained here yeah so similarly on this one we have the combined weld symbols that is below the reference line you have below the reference line you have the bevel groove weld and above the reference line also you have a bevel groove weld and above that you have got a fillet weld that means let us see below the reference line means on arrow side you have to do the weld the bevel groove weld this one on arrow side means it is shown below the reference line so you have you have done this welding okay then above the reference line that means here other side of the arrow this is the arrow and this is the other side so here you have you have to do the preparation edge preparation and then you have to do the welding the bevel groove weld here and on top of that above that you have to place the fillet weld here that's what we have done here initially we have done the bevel groove weld here then we have done the bevel groove weld here and top of that we have done the fillet weld so all, i mean the fillet weld the all the three symbols are clearly showing the same interpretation hope you understand this concept so all right friends and in the coming video next video we will be covering multiple arrow lines multiple reference lines field weld symbol and weld all around symbol okay and there are more but in the video after that okay so that's all for now see you in the next until then goodbye thanks for watching